Hi, my name's Jack Stratton. I'm Director of Insider Trends, top retail expert, part of Rethink Retail. And I'm really happy to be chatting today with Vinay Kumar, the CTO of Landmark Group. Um, lovely to see you. Good to meet you, yeah. Obviously, there's a lot of retail shows around the world now. Now, why are you here and, and what are you interested in learning about? This is actually my fourth year here in Barcelona with Shop Talk. We've been to many of these type of events. And then the thing that we like about Shop Talk in Barcelona is you get to meet and talk to a lot of retailers in the region, especially Europe and off late. It's truly becoming an international event to share, learn and get to know what's going on out there. It's also a wonderful place to actually meet the vendors. If you're in the market evaluating any tools, technology, you know, there's no other place than uh, Shop Talk to actually come and talk to them. What I don't want to do is go to a conference where I get to watch PowerPoint presentations and somebody yeah. speak, right? Yeah. What is more important is to make that meaningful connections and relationships being built with the peers and uh, also other vendors. What topics are you really looking to kind of dive into? And dare I say it, what buzzwords are you kind of looking to move beyond? We tend to hear a lot of buzzwords and this is a great opportunity an image like this to really come and validate the thinking or the yeah. opinions and also hear from others who have done any proof of concepts or how they're thinking about going with it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So agentic AI and AI or gen AI is really, you know, up there in the bingo chart this yep. year. And also uh, people are talking about omnichannel retail, retail store experiences. The agenda is taken over by AI, whether we like it or not. It, yeah. it, it is the thing that is happening and it's, I'm sure it's bound to happen uh, more than we think it's gonna happen in the next six months or one year. We're here at the Jumpmind stand and obviously you're working on projects with Jumpmind and doing some really interesting things. Fundamentally, from what I understand, there's been quite a big transformation at the back end mm -hmm. in order to facilitate a lot of what's going yeah. on. You know, when it comes to those massive transformation projects, and with the businesses like yours, yeah. they are deeply complex. You know, what are maybe a couple of things within that transformation that you think, you know, have maybe been big challenges, big things you've learned? A couple of things do stand out. One is the fact that, you know, it's always a challenge to modernize your point of sale in stores. I mean, not just for us, but any retailer who has a legacy platform in their estate, it is really super complex to actually modernize a legacy platform. Yeah. The thing we like about something like Jumpmind or a technology platform that allows us to do A-B testing, that allows us to not impact the customer experience, that allows us to maintain that quality and service level for customers and staff, and to be able to do it in phases so that a solution that is being rolled out, if it can be like 1% of the users in one store, gain confidence and then slowly build up the momentum to go faster, not a lot of technology or a patterns of deployment allows us to do that. So a solution like Jumpmind will allow us to do A-B test, do it in phases, roll it out. And that's really the most super important thing. Is that something you'd say to other retailers actually? Look at finding providers that can help to do things at your pace and not just that kind of, you know, what might sound exciting and sexy, but that kind of, you know, breaking everything quickly mindset. Yeah. It also varies, I guess, depending on the technology skill set and the capability in-house, because some retailers have deeper technical expertise and engineering capabilities in-house. And when you've got deeper capabilities in-house, you've got to make use of that and yeah. don't just go buy completely off the shelf, right? And yes, you need to move fast and break things, but then you have to be very careful about what you're breaking. Right? Yeah, yeah. And this phased rollout or an iterative development and rolling out in percentages helps us break things, but then also minimize the risk and the damage it's going to create if something were to go wrong. Did it help culturally as well then with your kind yeah. of in-house team? The fact yeah. that they still feel like their expertise is really important and needed. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because this new thing coming definitely, to, yeah. definitely. Because mm -hmm. from a culture and people point of view, when people realize that we're not buying something off the shelf and yeah. in, you know throwing it out there and that's the thing is going to take over the business, but it's more about one thing that we are buying or building has to integrate with everything else. For example, anything that you uh, move into a store uh, estate will have to talk to a scheduling system. It has to talk to the people system. You know, you've got to look at uh, payroll or inventory. You know, the whole ecosystem is not just one tool or one technology or one vendor you go and it's going to work it never is the case what one takeaway would you give to retailers listening to this undertaking their own pulse transformation my learning and lesson uh, would be 
have patience and the patience needs to show in terms of how you do experimentation, how you take up an iterative development approach and make it work for you because there are no easy answers and you've got to get your architecture right, right? And don't look at it only from the point of view of what we're doing today, but also we talked about agentic AI and the new buzzwords that are coming up. Have patience, do it iteratively, but also bear in mind where the technology is heading and the choices we're making today. Is that going to really impact what we're doing tomorrow in a positive way or is that going to slow us down uh, in the long run? Vinay, thank you so much for your time. Um, thanks so much to Rethink. And if you want to know more about JumpMind's uh, POS solutions, then head to their website to find out more.